theory or just a new take on that amoeba thing <laughs> i'm referring to alan marsh my ex-boyfriend one day before the town's big valentine's day dance he decides we should see other people whoa bummer major kiss off <laughs> <laughs> well i've learned my lesson this time dating is just a sick game devised by men to torment and confuse women like football <laughs> hey, Dana, wait. Now, don't give up on romance. Hey, you know, love is just like a box of chocolates. You gotta go through some pretty gnarly stuff, you know, like the jellies and the nougats and those big giant nuts that even the people in Brazil don't like. <laughs> but just when you think you're about to hurl, there he is, Mr. Buttercream. <laughs> I hate buttercreams. Wow, you're no fun. <laughs> no wonder that guy dumped you. <laughs> Man, give it a rest. Good to see you, JT. What can I do to make you go away? <laughs> Dad, this will only take two seconds. Can I have 300 bucks? This will only take one second. No. <laughs> ah, but Dad, I promised my date a stretch limo for the Valentine's Day dance. Are you still here? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Man, you want to know what really ticks me off? Illegal dumping of nuclear waste in our nation's water supply? I don't care about that. Dad won't give me 300 bucks to rent a limo. A limo? Wow, you know, I was watching the Grammys. <laughs> All those rock star dudes got limos. Don Henley had one, the Hammer had one, even that bald chick had one. <laughs> Dude, limos are totally cool. Exactly, that's why I need 300 bucks to rent one. Marsha Morrison told me that if I took her to a dance in a limo, she'd give me a night I'd never forget. Totally whoa. Shit. Dude, I got an idea. You know, I got a friend of mine that owns a limo, and he said that if I drove it myself, he'd rent it to me for 50 bucks. That's great. Hey, Dad, how about just 50 bucks? Get lost. Oh, man, what a cheapskate. Cuz, what if we did this? While you're at the dance with Marsha, I can rent the limo out, like, to the little dudes and all their friends to cover the cost. Cody, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah, sort of an Einstein with a buzz cut. <laughs> oh, Dana, working at the cafe today? No, Frank, I just enjoy wearing drab Dacron polyester outfits because they're so versatile. And a happy Valentine's Day to you, too. Sorry, just I hate Valentine's Day. That's why I volunteered to work a double shift rather than be around here when romance wafts through the air with its familiar doomed stench. Got dumped again, huh? It's hard to believe with your sparkling personality. Dad, I need your advice. I want to wear this to the dance, but Carol wants me to wear this. What do you think? Well, let me ask you a question. Is this a Valentine's Day dance or a hoedown? Okay, I'll wear the dress. Al, let me give you a better piece of advice. Don't even go to the dance. Love is the drug of the masses. Take it from me. Just say no. Got dumped again, huh? Well, there's only one thing for a girl like you to do. Get right back on your broom and try again. This is great. First, I'm dumped, then I'm outwitted by a Lambert. What a week. <laughs> Frank, yeah. I need you right now. Ready. Frank, are you crazy? The kids are home. Oh, yeah, them. <laughs> Besides, I didn't mean that. This is the busiest day of the year. Both my stylists called in sick. I'm in the beauty shop all by myself. You gotta help me. Uh, honey, I don't know anything about working in a beauty shop. Well, you don't need to know anything. I just want you to be my shampoo person. Oh. Will you shampoo your own hair, don't you? Well, yeah, but I'm usually naked and singing at the time. Well, whatever works is fine with me. You'll probably get great tips. <laughs> Is that the cap to your new shoe? Okay. All right. Uh, who's next? I am. Excuse me. Uh, could I go next? 
just, I, I think I only have a couple of hours. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Henson, I'll take you right away. I'm sorry, I'm just a little shorthanded. I'll get to you as soon as I can. Uh, Mrs. Henson, you sit down here right away, right away. Yes, right away. Uh, Frank, Frank. Uh, I've got to go to the stock room, and then I have to do Mrs. Henson right away. So you're going to have to finish up Jennifer's color weave. Color weave, honey? You said all I was going to have to do was wash some hair. Well, it's easy. Uh, see, as soon as this timer dings, you just take the foil out, and then you just wash your hair. Well, when you're taking the foil out, do you just have to... do it. I wonder how our help called in sick. Hello, I'm Frank. I'll be your foil remover today. You can't hear a word I'm saying, can you? What? Never mind. Oh, gee. Excuse me, Excuse me. Uh, hello, at Carol's uh, Beauty Boutique. Uh, a perm, rinse, color set. Carol's Boutique is your best bet. It says it right there. Yeah, okay. You want, I want a blunt cut and a cellophane body wave. Do we do that? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a message because Carol's very busy. Have Carol or anyone who knows Shinola call Barbara. Yeah, I got it. Frank, uh, we're out of decaf. Oh, here, coming right up. Got it. Thank you. Wow! <laughs> for doing such a wonderful job on my hair, Frank. And here's a little something for you. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Frank, is it time to take the foil out yet? Foil. Time, foil, time. Well, let's just see, okay? <laughs> you sit right down there, and we'll take a little look. Uh, well, what do you know? It's perfect timing. Perfect. It took a long time. I thought it'd be done over an hour ago. Well, we just wanted to make sure that it that it took. <laughs> Did it take? Uh, yeah, it took. It took a whole lot more than I thought. <laughs> It's quite dry yet. <laughs> Let's just wrap it a little minute. Hey, what's going on? Well, I'm just getting out the excess moisture. Just relax. Uh, Carol? Yeah? Now, I have a little problem here. Could you come and talk to me? It's important, Frank. I'm really busy. I guarantee you won't find anything more important in this shop for years to come. <laughs> what are you doing? You're not supposed to towel wrap a color weave. There's a hole! A lot, lot more we could do with your hair. Yeah. Uh, take a lot longer? Oh, uh, to, to just a couple of minutes. <laughs> Can I see you in the kitchen, Mr. Frank? Well, I've got a lot to think of. Frank, you let the chemicals on too long, you burned your hair off. Well, I'm sorry, honey, I didn't mean to. But look, I, I saved the hair in case you want to glue it back on. Glue it back on? You want me to glue it back on? Why don't I just staple it to her head? Frank, how could you do something so stupid? <laughs> Okay, okay, I made a mistake, but it's not a disaster yet. Honey, she's a teenager, and teenagers do weird things with their hair. Who knows, she might even like it. And then again, maybe not. Hey, Dana. It's kind of slow, so could we close up early? Why, Tom? Hot date tonight? Some innocent little schoolgirl just waiting to be manipulated before you toss her aside for the next thing that comes along in a tight sweater? Got dumped again, huh? I did not get dumped. We both decided to see other people. He just decided first. What a shock. Menu? Yeah. Must be a bummer working here on Valentine's Day, huh? Oh. <laughs> and what is that supposed to mean? That my life is empty unless it revolves around a man? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Table Number Two. You and your testosterone-producing buddies can go take a hike. Next time I want a hairy lump of flesh for a companion, I'll get a dog. 
And get me one, too. Because I'd take a canine any day over a, a backstabbing, two-timing, cold-hearted, cheating bimbo. Got dumped, huh? <laughs> yeah. She said she wanted to to see other people. No, oh, I hate that. <laughs> But not as much as I hate. Let's just be friends. You know, if I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be rich. Yeah, me too. Mind if I sit down? No, not at all. <sighs> kind of like the company. I hate to be alone on Valentine's Day. Yeah, me too. So, what time do you get off work? Right now. Tom, we're closing early! <laughs> I hate to leave the dad so early, but it'll be so much easier to talk in my limo. And, uh, plus it'll give us a chance to stretch out. Oh, JT, I can't tell you how romantic this limo makes me feel. Well, hey, don't tell me. Just show me. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Lambert. I trust that the dance went very cool, sir. Yes, thank you, Cofer. And now we'd like to go for a little spin around the lake, if you don't mind. Oh, very good, your eminence. <laughs> but, uh, can I have a word with you first? Not now, Cofer. We have a lady who's getting cold. <laughs> And I'd like to win her up. first place. I was just trying to help her out, you know, be a good Joe. Now here I am, all alone on Valentine's Day. I don't even know where she is. Does that seem fair to you? No, sir, it doesn't. <laughs> Can I go now? My manager gets worried when I'm gone for longer than an hour. Oh, sure. I'm sorry if I talked your ear off. No problem. It happens every Valentine's Day. <laughs> Nice going, lady. He was just trying to help. <laughs> oh, great, Frank. Now a complete stranger knows what's going on in our marriage. Well, I had to talk to somebody. You've been gone for hours. Well, I'm sorry, but it takes time to calm down two angry parents who want to sue you because you put a crater in the side of their daughter's head. Now, wait a minute, Carol. None of this would have happened if you hadn't forced me to work in the beauty shop in the first place. I told you I didn't know what I was doing. You made me work there anyway. Well, I know. How would you like it if I forced you to do something you didn't know how to do, like a rewire a house and then blamed you when the building inspector zaps his eyebrows off because you did it wrong? Would that be fair, huh? Well, that's different. How, 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 how would that be different? Well, it's different because then you would be the one who was out of line and then you would be the one who would be apologizing to me. Yeah, so you're apologizing to me. I'm getting to it! <laughs> just not done being mad yet. Well, take your time. I'll just finish my pizza. I'm sorry, Frank. Excuse me? I'm sorry, Frank. I had no right to get mad at you when I'm the one who forced you to work in the beauty shop. I shouldn't have thrown you in over your head. Will you forgive me? I don't know, Carol. I'm a little hurt by all this. <laughs> well, maybe there's some way I could make it up to you. I mean, it is still Valentine's Day and the house is empty. Well, there's no sense being hard-nosed about it. <laughs> Thanks. I had a really great time tonight. Can I call you tomorrow? 
not if I call you first. I'll miss you until tomorrow. I'll miss you more. No, me more. No, me more. <laughs> Bye. Bye. just like hers. Oh, well, you know our motto, perm, rinse, color, or set. Carol's Boutique is your best bet. <laughs> yeah, she said you had a real Debbie slogan. <laughs> anyway, here's her picture, and I'd like to get my hair cut just like hers. That's Jennifer Wheeler. We burned a bald spot in her head. <laughs> I know, it's totally cool. All the kids at school want one. Carol, I'll take over here. 